Hey, beautiful people of YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So, Turd Bomb is up and running, and I went out today, shot a really nice vlog for you guys, and lo and behold, the audio has a bunch of wind noise. You can hear me talking, but I just don't want to give you guys that kind of quality, so I'm going to do a voiceover. So I finished Turd Bomb right before Thanksgiving, and then on Thanksgiving Day, the crank seal blew out, flooding the primary with engine oil, soaked my rear tire, I almost crashed the bike, it was a big mess. So after Thanksgiving, the bike got pulled into the house, and I went to replace that seal. If you click on the card above, there is uh, a playlist with, I believe, six videos in it, of me building the bike, me repairing the bike, and everything that I've done so far with it. But now the bike is running and everything is awesome, no leaks. While uh, it was in the house, I also lifted the tank, relocated the ignition, relocated the coil, added some new cables for the throttle and idle cable. Just pretty much a lot of cosmetic stuff after I replaced that seal. So I've been out test riding the bike. I at the time of uh, this recording, I had about 11 miles on the bike, rode around, everything's just been so great. And uh, I forgot how much I really love this bike. It is such a different experience uh, compared to Ronda, my 2016 Indian Roadmaster. First and foremost, this bike vibrates like you wouldn't believe. It is a solid mount sportster, and everything on this bike vibrates all the time. It is just a complete and different experience. With the carburetor, you get some fuel smells, you get all these vibrations, it's just, you get all this wind on you. The bike's really beating on you, and for some reason, I really enjoy it. Maybe I'm some kind of motorcycle masochist or something, who knows. I did, though, notice through my riding a few things that I'm going to have to change before I set out on my trip. And I don't have a lot of time to accomplish those things. I leave in two weeks. But the pegs, they put a lot of pressure on my uh, feet. So I went ahead and I ordered some uh, mini floorboards from JP Cycles. And I'm going to get those put on. I really wanted to put a highway bar and some highway pegs on there. But I really couldn't find anything that will work well with this bike in the price range that I'm willing to spend. I don't want to spend $300 on a highway bar. So I am going to go without the highway bar. I've also recently purchased a small reserve fuel bottle from Lowbrow that I'm going to strap onto the sissy bar along with my bit with my Biltwell Exfil 80 bag. So uh, that Exfil 80 bag is going to be real nice because I could put all my tools in there, I could put my clothing for the trip, and then it's got a big pad on the front so I can use that bag kind of as a backrest while I'm riding. So that's going to give some added comfort as well as carry all the things I need to carry on this trip. So with the bike uh, having so few miles on it since everything's been redone on it, I don't really trust it, but that's not going to stop me from going on this trip. So the whole point of this trip is getting out of comfort zones, and nothing is planned. There is no hotels booked. I'm riding a bike that I don't know if it's even going to make it, and uh, I'm just going on God's good grace, and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm hoping to experience a lot of personal growth in being out of these comfort zones. So if the bike breaks down along the way, I'm going to have my tools with me. If I can't fix it on the side of the road, perhaps I'll rent a truck and a trailer. Who knows? Maybe I'll stop at whatever dealership's closest and find something else to ride home. But uh, I I'm just I'm going to set out and do it, and I'm expecting some misery. I'm expecting some pain, and I'm also expecting a lot of really good memories. So uh, my first day on the road, I leave Easter Sunday. I'm going to be on the road fairly early. Um, I would like to get to Texas, but I think I'm pretty much just going to ride till my body says no or the bike stops running. So who knows whether that could be. That could be somewhere in Missouri, somewhere in Oklahoma. Might even make it to Texas. Who knows? But we're not going to let that stop us. 
I'm really excited. There's a lot of things I would like to see on this trip, but nothing is planned. So I know one of the top things I want to see is the Hoover Dam. I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to dams. I really enjoy them. And then um, I have my National Park Pass. So there are a lot of national parks while I'm out that way that I would like to see. I would really like to see uh, Zion, Bryce Canyon, possibly Joshua Tree. Who knows? Grand Canyon. Um, but I only have 10 days for this trip. And if my math is right, I'm thinking about three days there, three days back. Doesn't exactly leave me with a lot of time for detours. I only have 10 days. Uh, so, we will see. We will see. But I'm going to do some different things on this trip. So, first of all, every day I'm on the road, there will be content uploaded to my social media. The links to that are in the description. If you're not following me, follow me. Also, I will do daily videos on YouTube. Now, these aren't going to be like my normal videos. Obviously, they're going to be shot with my cell phone. They're going to be no intro, no outro, just real basic videos, maybe only a couple minutes long. But when I get back, I will have all the footage that I've shot with my GoPros, and then I will make some longer videos on the trip. And I'm going to make sure everything just has different content. So we're really going to... I'm trying to let you guys see this trip from as many different angles as possible. I'm not quite sure where I'm going in California yet. I'm thinking LA. If I do go to LA, I kind of want to stop at the uh, the market from the Fast and Furious. It's one of the movies of my childhood. So uh, I've got a few friends uh, from work who've asked me to stop by there, get some pictures. And I think I, I, think I may do that. Ultimately, my only goal on this trip is to put my feet in the Pacific Ocean. So, who knows, guys? Who knows? I may go San Diego. I may go L.A. Not entirely sure. Being that I would like to see the Hoover Dam, I'm thinking I'm going to go L.A. And then on the way back, go through Vegas. Uh, possibly stop at a casino and pull the arm on a slot machine. I'm not really a gambler, but I, I would like to experience getting to play a slot machine in Vegas or something of that sort hit Hoover Dam, and then after that, possibly Zion, Bryce Canyon, who knows, the weather's going to dictate a lot, I'm just floating around, guys, who really knows where I'm going to end up, but I think I've rambled long enough, I appreciate each and every one of you, I love you guys, thanks for watching, if you're not already subscribed, bang that subscribe button, please like these videos. That helps me with the YouTube algorithm. We're getting close to a thousand subs. So the more you guys like these videos, the more these videos will be getting suggested to people. So please like the videos. Leave me a comment. Follow on social media. Again, I love you all. I will see you next week. And I'm out.